Hi, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Today, there is the small game, the game we play, and there is the great game, the game of life and death, the game I was once master of. Today, we go for the first encounter with Golden and Silver token as a reward, the High Priestess. Collect blessings in order to enter a ritual house at the summit of Mount Freydis and negotiate a treaty with the northerners there. Tribute. Gain blessings to increase your chances of success. Northern owner. Do not expect to be welcomed by northerners while tra whilst trading in the land. A campfire. Survive Mount Freydis by restoring life at camp. That's a new mechanic as well. Okay, so we'll try, we'll go for the old maiden, maybe she'll have some blessing for us. Okay, in shadows. Yeah, we don't know any of that. Let's try going for the Malachite's problem, the thief, the lost boy, arm wrestling, and the West Wind Tavern maybe, as far as the equipment goes. Uh, it this one was use the ability. We'll take the pain. We still need to yeah twenty plus uh, two, and we cannot use this against. This is against shadows, right? Yep. Okay, and we'll start. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will see how that story ends. Malakrax has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission. Why, I'll usually refrain from working for the Empire, since this one takes me further away from it. I've made an exception. Oh my god, I forgot the voice. It will square my debt to a general grandstorm and help open many doors for you. What do you say? How can I help? As you know, I have a great many skills, but my swordmanship is unlikely to hold up against northern riders. I know no one else who is more up to the task. How about the leader of the raiders? There are many clans dot around, but the supposed leader of them all is a high priestess who lives up there. Archives points to the top of the soaring mountain before you. Okay, anything else? General Bradstone introduced me, instructed me to come back and to talk to the high priestess of the north and offer the terms of the treaty, he explains. Will you join me? Yeah, I don't have any other choice. <laughs> Excellent! Bring your sword and let me do the talking, since says Malachite. I've brought plenty of supplies so we can set up camp when we get hungry. Thank you! Malachite shows a little bit as you commence your journey. The High Priestess is quite partial to blessings. If you can prove yourself worth it, you'd have a better chance at swaying her in our favor. Access the campfire at any time between encounters. The camp can be used to consume food or to restore life or trade equipment. Collect at least six blessings before meeting the high priestess. We we'll greet your teeth and begin the ascent. Not every temple has crumbled into the dust, more's the pity. The Temple of Divine Providence provides blessings in exchange for a small, simple gold donation. Let's see. Receive plus two food for after every dice gambit. Receive plus 15 life for every gold gain. If your max life is less than 150, you may discard food gain or equipment gain. First, receive plus 5 max health. Gain up to 20 gold at the beginning of the new map if you have less than 20 gold. The first hit in combat against Northerners deals 50 bonus then. I want to take the gold one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we really wanted to take the gold one. Be careful uh, where one takes refuge, even in the worst of storms. A subtle warning as no storm sweeps in from the north. 
The snow whips against you like shards of glass and obscures your vision. You struggle to find now cover. Now you wager for more than mere success and failure. I forgot to look you at this. You choose the very stakes themselves. The climb becomes unbearable. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the, on the onset of the first bite. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave and transfer to cover the dark clouds head fast. Now climbs further for firewood saying, This look is dry enough. We can set up come here for the night. Okay, I will come. Campfires will always offer warmth and heat, but they also change with each challenge. Be prepared. A figure appears from out of or from out of a swirl of frost. And so, it is a northerner. I come in peace, he says. I make the pilgrimage to the high priestess. I mean you harm. Without waiting for approval, he slumps down beside you and warms his hands by the fire. In my youth, I once fancied a northerner warrior. She almost cut off my head when I serenaded her. Now, can the flags among no. Oh no. Young glove, hey? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, let's trade. Pilgrim offers what he can. You have some equipment, I see. A shield for 15. Can I sell you something to make it up? Nope. I have a shield, but no. Okay, thank you. You sleep through the long, cold night. In the morning, you pack your things and continue to climb up the mountain. Children. <laughs> it's hard to conceive that either of us were ever such. He's just a small child you over here. A deeper voice growls. We have to take him to the dungeons and else or else he'll run straight to whatever northern clan he spawned from and show them where our outpost is. That's a shifty looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. Oh, that's my vibes. Yeah. You consider the boy's fate? We'll save him. Ash new weapon with the man they let the boy go. The Empire soldiers are uh, unmoved by a threat. Mm. Trying to give the different voice to each character proves challenge when you have no idea who's talking. Watchmen. Taken from the drugs of society, elevated to petty positions of power, Watchmen can block Greatly reducing incoming damage. Use bash to open them up for damage. Once again, good intentions and love. Ah, it's not the sword I'm supposed to use. Oh my god, I'm not about to try to. Yeah, and once we bash. We can really stun uh, making them even take even more damage. But for that, we need to have the dash rolled up all the way. As you check on the unconscious cords, you notice the boy looking at you wally, as if sizing you up. Oh, God damn it! My throws are horrible lately. Really? Hmm. I'm somewhat surprised you lost that one. The boy disappears into the forest as soon as you hear him howl from a short distance. The raiders come out of hiding in the boy's shells. They are pushes that way! I will stop them. You stand in the rider's way, forbidding them to pass. I'm way too good of a hero to let them go. It's not Fable. <laughs> I won't let them free. Trapper. On frozen plains, prey are few and far between. The keen eyes of a trapper see all. Trappers throw hunting traps that snare their target. Use a weight to avoid the traps or change direction rapidly to break free. Don't let them hit me! I'm too happy. 
handsome for violence. And that was the additional 50 of oh, 50 damage. Oh, oh my goodness. Get up. No, you don't. No, oh my god. Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, okay. okay, so I can use my weapons ability to do kinda dodge enemy attacks. That's interesting. The sound of swords clashing pulls out the guards from their outposts. After apprehending the northern raiders, the captain of the outpost hands you a reward. I don't even think. Oh, okay. I'm up. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, In the of cold, course. the men become desperate. Women hold these mountains together, even through the worst. Really? Oh no! Mm. That's not hard. The climb becomes unbearable. You reach the shoulder in cave. You are altered to the sound of shuffling footsteps. You can barely make out the silhouettes of the menacing figures who have invaded your shelter. They are not the sort you want to be in such close quarters with. When he accused the mayor of being a shadow beast in disguise, they fought him mad. Oh no, whoa, oh, no. this doesn't do a lot of damage. Okay, that's another additional fifth. Oh, right, no, this is the sword we started with. For some reason, I was sure this. I don't know, maybe because we had so many introductions. Wait, I thought. Well, I didn't dodge that, I blocked that, I'm very sure I did that. As the blizzard eases, the intruders make they makes make their escape. Not clips for just the firewood, but he did. The mountain no, 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 itself no, 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 no. pushes you back. <laughs> you arrive at the city market to meet. Yes, we know. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh, it's on this purple flower. Hopefully it will work. What the hell? Okay, is this for real? Will you push on despite nature is itself attempting to thwart you? As you ascend the snowy mountain Freydis, you happen upon a cottage of on John Smoke were wafting out of the chimney. A frail old lady sweeping snow over the path beckons you to come in. We've, uh, we've come in search of the great high priestess to deliver an important message, says Morkite. You better go bearing blessings if you want to go on the high priestess' good side. I think it's a batch right now if you'd like a taste. I got it right, it right this time. You can take it to her, she says, staring the courtroom. Darkneps politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, nudging me forward. And of course, of course. Uh, optionally, return any chance, car gambit. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fancy feeling flowing through your body. 
Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the high priestess will appreciate this one. You thank the old lady and continue upon the faders, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. Okay, I need to pause for a second here because I see that I have some issues with recording, so be right back. Okay, I tried changing something, so let's see. I think it works. Age fine turns now. us all. She has done rather better than I in the time Damn, that she has doesn't, passed. She doesn't have any blessings. So let's ask for gold since we have no amount of gold will satisfy a mortal, but if that is what you wish, her ancient voice falters on the walls as if long unused. The mountain mm, is unforgiving. Nope. You would not be the first to die upon its peak. High up on the mountain, you see the silhouette of men approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the roaring winds. Who dares trespass in the sacred grounds of our priestess? Eight hidden raiders spring down the mountain with the dexterity of mountain goats. Mm, okay, it looks better now. I think it's everything's okay. Shield. When skies are darkened by your enemy's voice, fight in the shade of this personal wooden bulwark. Who dares venture? None less than the amazing Balakrins! Okay. Hey, I'm not your assistant! That's a little bit too close, okay? <laughs> a remnant of oh, the Templars and their religious righteousness. The clash of steel rings out, echoing through the peaks. The mountains also with a low, ominous rumble as a wall of white rushes toward the nearly sweeping away everything its path. Please! Thank you! You seek shelter against a bluff, pressing close to the rock face as the avalanche rolls overhead. When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unsighted. Your assailant's weapon juts from the snow as you near. You realize it is still clenched in his hand, his body buried to the wrist, wrist with the avalanche. I will dig him out. You brave the cold and free the raider from his icy grave. He takes a moment to catch his breath and says, You saved me, though we are enemies by blood. Take my blessing and leave me to my thoughts. Blessing? Yes. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. This one? Confirm? Oh, let's be. The climb becomes unbearable, but we seek shelter and we can make a campfire. <gasps> the market thief again! Okay. I'll try cutting him. Okay. okay. It might be this one. Ooh, we draw. This one? God damn it! Ah, uh, even with Guardian Endo. A lesson in caution awaits us all. Yeah, nature, okay. truly wild nature, this will not be... tolerate fury in its domain unless it is its own. This may be the moment when we get the swords. Broken shark. Hmm. Cardinal Blade, prepared for violence in every major direction. 
None less than the amazing power clips. And assistant. I have none of your assistance. No, my goodness. What is it? Come on, hit him. I love that they this everyone refuses to run here. Just for the good measures. I think the shot is ours. Are you serious? All I need is... I'm tired of that. Yep. And yeah, let's take him out. Thank you. But I reduced the speed of wheel gun, but we, we didn't see that yet. But we only need two more blessings, so we're gonna give away. Again. Old witches. I have a fondness for them, but I would not trust them. Further up the mountain, the blizzard becomes so intense you barely see the tiny cottage engulfed in snow. An old lady becomes you and I've reached the word from my sister's folk and have been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing potion I've whipped up is my best yet. Do you think it's good enough to take to the high priestess? She says, blowing the steam off a simmering blow of thick liquid. I really couldn't. Uh, I really couldn't, says Malpeps, patting his belly. Uh, this one? Uh, it draw? Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, I think this one. Fuck! <laughs> you take the sip of the putrid potion and feel your stomach churn. I knew I shouldn't have substituted the cloudberries for fogberries, she says, comforting you. Choose the righteous path and you'll find blessing on your way, I'm sure. You step outside into the blistering cold and continue up on Fabus. Yeah, yeah, okay, go on. Yeah, you can see that this is no... <laughs> it's not getting any easier. Okay, I'm wrestling. Your opponent is the third in the third round is Pharrell, the brass hag. She told herself as a fearsome pirate but needs the money from this competition to get herself a boat. Dice are a constant reminder of death. The singular is die, as I'm sure you know, no. and they are often called bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, however, they may also bring a touch of life. You take the lesser reward for losing in the competition of strength. When you turn, a new contest will begin. Yep. A grand opportunity for you to take whatever pleases you yeah, and, and go about your day. Yeah, I'll take this one. Now the question is whether we can find that one, <laughs> one blessing. Oh, 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 no, 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 I wasn't very really lucky. <laughs> okay, we'll fight. At least I may have a chance to finish the shield. Token shark, token shark, no, I don't remember what it was. Whatever. The shield. Berserker, fueled with rage and determined to destroy. Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slows the enemy's movement and attacks. By sea and sun, fate and fame. And... No, 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 no. And even if I'm hit, I'm 
knows. And even if I'm hit with the magic shield, it still falls behind, so... Nope. Kill the berserker. This shard and this token. That's why I get so confused. <laughs> Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. Why? The filth, oh. the shame, right. the horrors dwell in the minds of men, not in the monsters in the darkness. I think we won't be able to get the last blessing. Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is a safe arbor among the many dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the guild is here. This Empire soldier has almost ruined me. Before you can disagree, the owner swings open the salon doors and pushes you inside. Inside, you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. The freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto the table and shouts about the no noise. You lazy drunken deserters are done! The steward's guild have sent an enforcer here and now you're all going to have to get back to your post. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers rises with a slight away. We've got three days until our shifts end. And ends and we return to civilization. So we are not doing any fighting unless they threaten the supply of ale, right lads? The raucous cheer erupts and beer and cards smash together all us around. So why don't you take your shiny sun king badge and shove off? The the barkeep turns to you. What are you going to do? Threaten them. You suggest with menace that soldiers should report to duty or they will report the healer. <laughs> this one? No? Okay, I will try again. I have no reason not to. Damn it! <laughs> I won't be threatened by the legs of you, the soldier grumbles as he rises, followed by his friends. Bye bye, token! Soldier. The expansion of the Empire requires constant conscription of new blood. Soldiers block all attacks, greatly, greatly reducing their damage. Use bash to open them up. Yep, but... No, you don't. Could you deal with the shooter? No, no, you don't. At least you can shoot me. That's fine. Give me a blessing. Oh, let's see. 
in plus and max flight while you have more blessing than curses. That works. Uh, defeat 30 northerners with a finisher. Okay, give me that. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure. Also, as soldiers fall under yet another blow from the weapon, the leader shows up. Stop! Alright! We'll do our part! Just stop cracking all skulls! Oh! Nicely done! Thank you! Yeah. Now the confrontation. Are you ready to face the priestess <laughs> of no. her people and drive the deal the Empire has requested? The or will you turn and flee? The winds clear the dark clouds to reveal the spire of a ritual house pro protruding from the summit. You press on through thick snow and find the wooden structure adorned with spoils of war. As you enter the great hall, the towering arched doors swing open with a heavy creak. A giantess in a velvet robe enters accompanied by raiders. Malakleip's bow slow to ground. My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss the truce between the Empire and Mordorans, my lady. So they send me a silver tongued devil and a shield maiden. She smacks. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. You kneel before the High Priestess. Only five blessings? What a pitiful effort. With a flick of her wrist, bolt of lightning strike you. You still have a chance to defeat this mission, even if imperfectly. The giantess claps, the sound ringing in the silent cold hall. <laughs> this small thing survived it. Impressive, but if you wish to speak to me of a treaty, you must prove yourself against my champion. A raider charge towards you. Wait, champion, not all of that. Champion, you said one. Singular. Whatever. Hi! Berserker Champion. Fierce, loyal, and relentless. Champion of the High Priestess. Berserker weapons are imbued with eyes that solve their enemies. Yep, movements and attack. Why do we always end up enraging the locals? Yeah, yeah. Hi, nice. Because no. I'm just trying to. I screwed that up. Oh my. Oh, I was supposed to kill them with that. I forgot. Or hit them. I, don't, I can't remember. Oh, I got hit! Give me shield. Though you failed to bring me your offering, I'm impressed with how you wield your sword. Now hear my terms. The High Priestess rules herself up, a towering figure trapped in foreign wrath. The North will never bend to Empire. Blood for blood for blood, those are my, ter my terms, small one. Let your leaders hear it and quake. With that, we make a quick descent to relay, then we set back to General Brandstorm. This is how you get the silver token. <laughs> oh, so close. We were so close. Not the map maker. Nice. Okay. So tomorrow we might try 
with the card, the map maker. Let's see and we'll see what it is about. But for now, that was the high priestess. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.